Hello everyone, it's Dawn and welcome back to my channel. Well, we are going to complete this series. Yeah. I, know, I know originally I said we were going to do four videos, mm -hmm. but I've realised we can actually narrow it down to three. So mm -hmm. we're going to finish off this series of using our stamp sets in different ways to make our own collection. Now we've got our paper, our backing paper, which we stamped, and I've cut that down and I've put it on to a 5 by 7 card. I've cut out my dolphin, so we will put him on quite soon. And we've got our stamp set. Now, I started, as I was doing the ephemera bit, I thought, you really don't need a whole video just to do ephemera. Because all I did was I put my stamp, I stamped my stamps on a piece of, this is 300 GSM card. Oh, yeah. And all I did was I stamped them, coloured them in, and cut them out. So oh, yeah. you, you, I'm sure you don't need me to do that for you. And you can even use sentiments or words for ephemera as well. So I've got this beautiful sentiment that says, the voice of the sea speaks to the soul. And I absolutely love that. So we're probably going to use all of this, but we're going to use some of it on the inside. So we've got our backing paper already glued to our card. So I'm going to start. We'll, we'll save the stamps. I'll put them in the corner there so that you can still see them. But we're going to start with a bit of ephemera. And I have to use this gorgeous seahorse because he's absolutely delightful. And I think I'm going to stick him down in the corner here. So I'm going to, for quickness, I'm going to use my glue runner. Or tape runner, I should say. But you can use whatever, you, whatever you've got or whatever you like to use. You can use glue if you want to, of course. So I'm going to stick him, not right in the corner, but more or less in the corner. I'm going to stick him there. And I've got this delightful little shell, which I've also cut and coloured. Again, this is all on 300 GSM card, so it's nice and thick. For ephemera, unlike stickers, stickers you can get away with using paper. But okay. if you're making ephemera, you really need to use a thicker card just to give it more dimension. But good, of course, if you want your ephemera to be thinner, you can use whatever you like. So I'm going to pop that there. And I've coloured this little mini scene here. And on the back, I have got just a couple of foam pads because I wanted that to be popped up a little bit. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to pop that there. I wanted to cover the tail, or most of the tail anyway, of our seahorse. Mm -hmm. And I did want that little shell just poking out there. So I've got him, we've got him just popping up there and we have a turtle. I was going to have the turtle coming down here just to cover up that bit of the seahorse. So I might have him swimming along there. So we'll just turn him over. Again, for quickness, I'm going to use my tape runner. But you use whichever adhesive you usually use, you prefer to use. I'm not a great fan of most glues, but I prefer to use tape, but sometimes I will use glue. I use glue to put the paper down. Oh, yeah. And I am going to use this, and I am going to use that, but we're going to save that to dress the inside up. So I really do think we ought to put the star of our shell on. I think we'll put him on now rather than at the end. So we're going to put our dolphin on. Yeah. So if I just pop that over there. So we'll just put some tape or adhesive, glue, whatever, whatever you want to use. We'll pop that there and we'll have him leaping out of the water. Yeah. Uh, where should we put him? Not too close. Yeah, about there, I think. Oh, yeah. Just off centre. So he's leaping out of the water like yeah. that. So now I could have used the whale, but then that's going to... I could have had the whale coming in like that, but I think that's a bit much. So I think we'll save him. So we're going to use our stickers to fill in some of the gaps. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So we'll just take them off, take them off of the backing. <laughs> Hopefully I don't break any of the crab's legs. So we'll just carefully peel our stickers off of our backing. And I'm going to, I'm not going to completely cover up that shell, but I'm going to have oh. the crab up there. I had to use that crab because I think it's absolutely delightful. And we will have this little starfish, I'm going to peel that off. And I'm going to have him actually covering, or not covering, but over the top 
Oh, it's the turtle. So the turtle is sort of swimming behind it. So we're going to take this little shell here and I'm going to run that across the bottom, stick that across the bottom like that. So we've got a little bit of a seabed going on down here. And I, I may or may not use, but I might, you know what, let's just stick them on. And I might put this shell, might as well use them all up. We'll have that coming just, we're not going to cover the crab. So that's the front of our card done. I could have put him a bit more centrally. And I suppose I could have put that up there. Now, should I put up there or should I put it in the middle? Or should I put it on the inside? I could. Do you know what? I could put that up there, couldn't I? Exactly. I could put that there that says, put it on the, yeah, let's put it on the front and we'll, we won't leave the whale out. No, we won't leave him out. I don't want him to feel, we don't want our whale to feel that he don't, he's not wanted. No, no, no. So what we'll do, Graham agrees with me. He's sitting over to one oh, side yeah. in his bed. So I'm going to put that just in the corner up there like that. So, which I think completes that little scene quite nicely. So oh, yeah. just to finish off the inside, what we're going to do, so that he doesn't feel left out, we will use our whale. And we'll just put some adhesive on the back, just very quickly. And then that leaves you free to leave, put whatever sentiment you like. I won't put it there. I think we'll leave that blank to put our message. I think I'm going to put him down there like that. Just like that. Yeah, I think that's nice because that gives us a bit of interest on the inside. So there is the inside of our card and there is the front of our card all finished. And we just use one set of stamps, which I now put away because they needed cleaning. So I cleaned them and put them away. So we used one set of stamps to make a backing paper, a, a focal image, some stamps or some stickers, I beg your pardon, and some ephemera. So we've used the same set to create a complete collection to make this wonderful card. So I hope you've enjoyed this series. And I hope, you, I hope you have a go yourself with any stamp sets that you've got. If you're like me, you've probably got loads of stamp sets and you're thinking, <laughs> now what can I do that's different? So if that's what you want, if that's what you're after, something a bit different, have a go at this. And if you really wanted to, we could have put some splashes with some maybe white acrylic of the water coming down, but I wasn't that conscientious. So I didn't. But if you want to do that, that's absolutely fine. But I think that's a perfectly acceptable card. In fact, I've yeah. even got someone in mind to send it to later this month. So we've got a birthday coming up later this month in September. So I'm going to send that to a friend of ours who absolutely adores the ocean, in fact, lives by the ocean. So I think that'll be perfect. So there we go. There is our card for mm -hmm. today. And there is our series on sta stretching your stamp stash completed. Yeah. I'm glad I only had to say that once. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Oh, yeah. And I hope to see you very soon in my next video. And until then, thank you again for watching. Take care, everybody. Have fun. And as always, happy crafting. Bye-bye for now.